Hey guys, what is going on? It's Ben again, and you haven't seen me in around two to three weeks, and you haven't seen this iMac in months. I made a rant about this, how, you know, Apple wouldn't pay to repair it because it was too old, and, you know, you guys have seen the broken screen, for those of you that haven't seen this video, and I'll just show you real quick, you know, you gotta plug in with the weird Apple connector. Uh, it contains an Intel Core 2 Duo, and, like... 1 gig of RAM, and I bought it because I wanted to, you know, see what it could do in terms of, you know, even with its power, see if I get like a Linux installation, or a Windows, or something like that. Um, can't really see it under this light, but it's kind of broken. So, my plans for this were to, you know, kind of take the screen off it, and then use it as some sort of headless Mac. So, you can't really see it, so there was really no point of doing that, so I'm just going to unplug it. So, since I haven't done a real video in a while now, I, you know, I kind of wanted to do something that would, you know, because I always see, like, these COD commentaries, you know, like Call of Duty commentaries and people just talking. I want to make it a little more interesting, so I'm going to be disassembling this computer and talking to you guys, giving you some updates about my life and all that. So this is kind of a disassembly commentary. Take what you will from it. So yeah, I'll get started. I feel like this would go better as a live stream, you know? So, there we go. It's a Phillips head screw. Also, this adapter is so I could plug it into VGA if you're wondering. All right. <laughs> See, what I'm worried about is getting VLC, right? So, uh... Yeah, as a Giga Ram Core 2 Duo. So, ch my channel's been uh, kind of doing good, I think, in my opinion. You know, getting around, like, almost 400 subscribers. So thanks, guys, for uh, those who have been here since the beginning. Um, I even had a chance to talk to you guys, you know, over Twitter and stuff like that. Speaking of which, you should probably follow my Twitter. There's a link below to it. Not if I can even figure out how to get the darn... Uh, you know, RAM modules off. Because what I'm, what I'm worried about is damaging the LCD further to the point where the underlying components are getting damaged. I've already opened up this iMac to, you know, the point where, you know, I've taken some things off to make this easier for me, not to make this, like, an hour long. It's already kind of broken, so that kind of gives me an advantage there. And here's the money shot, you know. Um, here are the RAM modules. If I can... Uh, I don't want to... Crap, okay. I mean, yeah, you guys can see it right there. It uses laptop RAM, SODIMS, so if I can just pop it back in there, because I'm not working with the RAM. Oh yeah, I do need torque screws for that. Alright, I'm back, and I've got this right here. It's heavy. Alright, so this is as simple as kind of... Ooh. I'm going to take off the front panel here. Should be moving out this whole thing. It's weight. Woohoo! Alright, so that's the Mac front panel right there. Just use it as like a headless desktop, like you see regular desktop PCs. Because, I mean, Power Max and Mac Pros are really expensive. I don't have that kind of money, but um, I've already simultaneously like, removed this, and that's why there's some tears in it. So I'm going to be removing it again. This would have taken me like 10 minutes otherwise with just this. Um, here you can see a lot of the stuff. Uh, Wi-Fi card, RAM modules, the fan right there, the SATA connectors for the hard drive. And I also plan on upgrading this to an SSD, so there are great things for there. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is pop this connector out, if I can. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, I need to disconnect this. That's the main thing I'm through. Mini torques. It should work. Pretty well. So yeah, another reason I didn't really upload a lot was because of the midterms. Because midterms were like really stressful, you know, having to study all that and all that junk. So I'm finally glad those are over. It's the end of the semester in my school. Uh, I don't know about 
all students watching this, but they're really, really stressful. There we go. All right, so now that the LCD is off, I'll be able to pretty easily remove this LCD right here. Right, so this was already kind of, oh, okay, yeah. So I need to take the screws off like right over here. I can't really see them anymore. But this is kind of a basic removal. Already kind of removing it. You can see the DVD drive, the hard drive, and I think that's the video card. Not sure. But for now, I gotta figure out how to get this part off. So I can just hold it back. I will tell you, it's really freaking heavy. The, yeah, I don't really do it at all. Alright. Kind of removed it to the best of my abilities. LCD panel. Yeah. Alright, kind of looking around it right now, there's really not much to see. Hard drive, DVD drive, um, everything else. The very dusty fan. Um, I'm actually curious how big this is. Like, I think it's like a 120 gigabyte hard drive, but I could easily replace this with an SSD. I don't really see any reason to upgrade the DVD drive, but what I found interesting is M.2 SSDs are recently coming to the market. And this looks like more like an MSATA type thing, but... You could easily put an SSD in this. I see no reason to try though. You probably wouldn't recognize the drive. This is an iMac. Alright, so that's just moving the LCD. Most I could do is put this back on. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool to actually just have this as a regular computer and just have the components showing. And I'm not sure what I want to do with this yet, other than just. Because, I mean, it's just an exposed computer. Exposed, you know. Because it's meant to have the screen there, and now it's off. Again, I have no idea what to do with this, as is. Um, yeah. Now I just have the components. I'm just going to do a test boot, see if everything still works. Um, probably doesn't. I really hope it does. If not, that would suck really bad, because I'd have to reassemble the whole thing. I'll just do a test boot, and... Yeah. There we go. Everyone can hear it buzzing. So now if I were just to... If I can hear like a duh, then everything's working well. There it is. Everything's working pretty well. Um, I'll remove this again. Everything in its glory. So I'm actually going to hook this up to a monitor, see if we can get video out. And if it does, I'll actually start working on a project of some sort with this. So yeah, we'll get right to that. Okay guys, after some fast forward with some error diagnostics, looks like this hard drive's bad, so that's why I was running the command prompt. And uh, yeah, it's something similar to what I would do with the Hackintosh, but this hard drive is bad. I'll have to boot it from the install disk to actually repair the drive, and looks like I'll lose the OSX installation, but that's okay because I'll probably replace it with an SSD anyway. So please keep an eye out for that video. This is not the last you'll see of this iMac. I'm looking to either do an OSX install, a Windows install, or a Linux install, and I might triple boot all of them, but I need to figure it out. Otherwise, this OSX install is pretty bad. Um, I really don't know what else to do, but I just ran the command prompt, and it said um, that it's a bad hard drive. So that's why it isn't booting, and that's why, because it kept shutting down afterwards, so it's a bad hard drive. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this uh, disassembly commentary. Everything is working, so there's no problems with the logic board or anything. So yeah, that's it, and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for coverage on this iMac. Sorry for the shaky cam. I'm holding this with my hands, not a tripod or anything. I really wanted to get this video out quickly. This is Ben Vasquez, signing out.